Hello everybody, Richard G. Cough from Triple Zero, how are you? <coughs> now, a couple of days ago, on my main channel, I posted a video called Pwned Canadian Nazis. Feel the fun. Talking about a white pride march that happened in Canada. Just today, they finally found me, and they've got, I'll put the link to the video down there. If you want to go down there and have to deal with these fuckers, um, they're, it's, it's good for a laugh. Damn you completely lovely, because she put her video on private, which means now all they're, they've all flooded onto my fucking video, but that's fine. Completely lovely summed this up, and I'm going to say again, these people basically have three arguments. In your opinion, any white person that opposes the genocide of their race is a Nazi who wants to kill six million Jews. Now that's all in one word. Nazi who wants to kill six million Jews. Uh, the next one they put, and you might have seen this one uh, on my videos, anti-racist is code for anti-white, okay? And the other one is just, they just literally write white genocide with the N-O. This got repeated, this is being repeated so much, I'm like, well this must have come from somewhere. Did a bit of research and I found out that it comes from something called Bob's Mantra. Uh, this is a guy called Bob Whitaker, who is uh, apparently a politician who's, uh, you know, clear, who's been, who, who used to be quite popular, he used to have quite a successful career, and now he's gone into the world of um, covert race hate. It's, but anyway, he wrote this thing called Bob's Mantra. There's, there's actually a couple of videos out there. There's one that involves, there's one that's basically uh, Original Savage Chick, uh, uh, Marmite Man 4 and some other fucking stupid cow uh, called Truth is a Hate Crime or something fucking retarded like that and they did a video reading this mantra out and all of these comments, everything you read, all those comments are there which you get repeated out, they all come from this mantra I'm just gonna read it for you now right from the back you can see the first line of this shows the, it's ironic I suppose it shouldn't surprise me that people who are so fucking pig-headed, can, can only see the world in black and white. There is no nuance or grey area, but this is what they get. This is how it goes, Bob's mantra. Everybody says there is a race problem. Oh, everybody. Right, well that's the first fucking problem, innit? Everybody says this race problem will be solved when the third world pours into every white country and only into white countries. What white country? Countries are not defined and never have been by the colour of the skin of the people who live there. They have never been defined in that way. Only by racists have they been defined that way. As if, as if there's no white people in any other fucking part of the world. As if white people don't go other countries. The Netherlands and Belgium are mo now more crowded than Japan or Taiwan. But nobody says Japan or Taiwan will solve this race problem. Right, what's crowding got to do with race? Problem by bringing millions of third worlders and, quote, assimilating them, unquote, with them. Right, let's deal with this one. This, this claim that Netherlands and Belgium are now more crowded than Taiwan or Japan. Now, it, it, it's not entirely uh, untrue, but he's, he's been very clever with his wording there. This is, these are the statistics for the population density per square mile. Japan, 873 people per square mile. Netherlands, 1,039, so that's more, yeah. But Taiwan, 1,655, which is twice that of Japan, and, and really 50% more, over 50% more than Netherlands, and Belgium, uh, 919, which is obviously more than Japan. Now you think, well, he's, he's, he's nearly right there, but he isn't, because he's put overcrowded, he's put crowded. Now, crowded is not the same as population density, because what he doesn't take into account here is that most of Netherlands and Belgium is, able, is, is habitable. People can live there. A lot of Japan is uninhabitable. People cannot live there. And, with, and, overcra and crowded, how crowded a country is, is not defined by how dense the population is. Let's say you have two square miles of land and you have in two different countries you have the same number of people but in one country half the popular half the area of land is uninhabitable well you've got two countries there with the same fucking population the same land mass and yet one of them is going to feel a lot more crowded than the other because everyone's got to live on one bit of the land and also to put it in perspective here are some countries that have a higher population density uh, than japan bermuda 3,175 people per square mile. Gibraltar, 11,808 people per square mile. And of course, this is a good one, Monaco. Yeah, Monaco has a population density of 43,830. Right. Now, do you think that Monaco is 43 times denser, uh, cr more crowded than Japan? 
No, I didn't think so. So let's go on to the next one. Everybody says the final solution. Yeah, okay, that's not ominous language. To this race problem. It's, I love this everybody. Who is everybody? Because it ain't me. Right? Is every white country and only white countries to assimilate, right? I.e. intermarry. Integration is that, is it, so if you're white and you meet a person who's not white, uh, and you fall in love and you get married or have kids, um, that, that's, that, that you being, you basically, the reason you're doing that is not because you've met a human being who you're, no, that's, that's it. That's where it all comes from, right? What if I said that, what if I said there was a race problem and this race problem would be solved uh, only if hundreds of millions of non-blacks were brought into every black country and only into black countries. There are no black countries, dickhead. Oh, South Africa, that's got lots of fuck, yeah, there's no white people there, is there? Yeah, who are the indigenous people in America? Sorry, originally. Or, or, or Australia. Anyway, white people don't go anywhere else, do they? We should all stay here. How long would it take anyone to realise I'm not talking about a race problem? Well, you just said everyone is talking about a race problem, so that's a fucking stupid... I am talking about the final solution to the black problem. And how long would it take any sane black man not to notice this? Sane, right, is the word I've got a problem with there. But if I tell you the obvious truth of the ongoing programme of genocide against my race, the white race, liberals and respectable conservatives. I love that he puts respectable conservatives. So clearly, you're not respectable. So this is an opinion held by only people who are not respectable. Liberals and respectable conservatives agree that I am a Nazi who wants to kill six million Jews. There it is. Then he says, they say they're anti-racist. What they are is anti-white. Anti-racist is code word for anti-white. Right. Let's deal with this, shall we? Now, the definition of genocide is the deliberate and systematic extermination of a national, racial, political, or cultural group. Now, if you're talking about white genocide, that means you're talking about a racial group. So you're insisting that because black people and white people are living together, and some of them are actually fucking and producing offspring, one of which is the President of the United States, this means that there clearly there's a white genocide. Let me explain this. This is Genocide 101 for retards, okay? Okay. When a white person and a black person have children together, whilst the children may look more black than they do white, that is not an, a mean that they are their black genes are only present. Both genes from both parents are present. You have both white and black genes in there. Uh, if you were to get the offspring of one black and white pair, well, set of black, black and white parents, and the offspring of another black and white. Uh, set of parents, and they were to be together, they could theoretically have one kid who looks entirely white and one kid who looks entirely black, because the genes are still present. And what I find even funnier about this is the fact that you think that that means that, that when a black person and a white person go, their genes have been wiped out. Here's the problem with that. Most of you, from what I've seen, are white supremacists. You're not white supremacists. You're effectively, you claim to be some sort of, you know, have some sort of racial pride and you're like a white nationalist. You're a black supremacist. You are. Do you know why? Because you believe that black genes are more powerful and dominant to white genes. So when you mix them, the white genes fall over and the black genes take over as, take over and are in control and the most dominant and wipe out the evidence or the remaining element of the white genes. So you are effectively saying that white people are inferior to black people. You say anti-racist is code word for anti-white. I asked a guy this question. These are the questions these fuckers won't answer. Ask them these questions. Number one, are you racist? If they say no, say number two, ask them, do you think it's right for someone to be racist? Or do you think that being racist is wrong. If they say, yes, I think it's wrong to be racist, ask them number three, does that not mean that you are anti-racist? And by your logic, anti-white? I ask this, and every single time I get the same answer. They don't give me a straight answer. They just sit there and go, well, how would you define race? Define racist. I don't have to. You are saying anti-racist means anti-white. So you're defining it for me. But you must know what race means, otherwise you can't sit there and say that anti-racist is a term that is, that is viable in any conversation. You can type these three fucking dogma dogmatic tenants into a fucking comment section till your arse goes blue. It will convince no one because it's fucking retarded. And until you lot start engaging in conversation and actually start having a bit of dialogue rather than just spouting this crap, do you think anyone's going to go, oh, anti-racist is code for anti-white, oh, it must be, uh... <laughs> Fucking grow up! Richard Vickoff and Triple Zero, good night, mate, God be blessed.